Um, I would take a truth telling black female lesbian any day. I think people Wait, can where trust are you going her. With this, though? What's up, fam? Welcome to another Tay and Steph reaction video. In this reaction video, we're gonna react to Maxine Walters get biggest backfire in court history. Shout out to Duggan Exile, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to Duggan Exile. Make sure y'all share all of his videos, all of these videos, so more people can be aware, man. Don't forget on this channel, we try to get to 60k. Hey. Smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, help us get to 60k, and be a part of the fam. With that being said, let's, let's get, get into, into the video. video. The court is being weaponized in the name of anti-whiteness. They're putting up black judges. I didn't say that. Maxine Waters said it. It's terrible. And this will backfire on um, these black pol pol political leaders because it's coming back to bite you. Okay. So here comes all the liar liberals leaning on race politics they think we got this we're going to keep winning we're going to change the whole court system this is going to be great welcome to doug in exile i'm a okay, barely know. literate white guy white comic book <laughs> artist while i love black people i just i love black people too duh. black liberal lying politicians <laughs> and white ones too they're per, they're uh uh they need to be uh uh, exited, voted out of office also. Let's go. As Trump is on trial, you have Letitia James in New York, uh, uh, Fannie uh, Willis in Georgia, Tanya Chunkin, who all have a role to play now. And if we're ever to change the criminal justice system, we've got to be in there. And that's why we're not going to give up. So up until this point, Blacks, according to Maxine Waters, have not gotten justice in the criminal justice system. The only way they're going to get criminal justice system is to get some black judges in there. Boy, I hope I never come before a liberal black judge as a white guy. This is, just imagine if the opposite was said. Imagine if someone, if I said, which is what I'm saying now because Maxine Waters has invited the opportunity, now I'm gonna say, um, if I want justice, we need to get more white judges, white lawyers. Because I will not get justice from a mm. black. She didn't even say from a white conservative. She just said whites, period. Mm. I would say uh, I will not get justice. Yeah, I think, I think we got to be careful on both ends. I feel like because I do feel like that has been a thing, especially, you know, we don't want to dismiss history of, you know, slavery and stuff like that. So it's been where, you know, to keep one side in power, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, they put people in position. Uh, so again, I don't think that is is right on either end but i would say historically it has been done uh so to to point out that it is being done on this end with intention you know what i'm saying i think uh just recognizing that it's pushed back against something that has already been done yeah as well so let us know what y'all think about it in the comment section down below be they black or white and i will get justice from a conservative be they black or white so see I'm not bringing in race. No, that's a fact. Maxine Waters is. Replay that. That's, that's a fact. Or white. Hold on. Replay what he said. Y'all got to listen. She just said whites, period. I would say uh, I will not get justice from a liberal, be they black or white. <laughs> and I will get justice from a conservative, be they black or white. So see, <laughs> I'm not bringing in race. Maxine Waters is. So is Corrine Jean-Pierre. You cannot trust these liars. So where to turn for trusted information, there's calamity and chaos and even catastrophe. We have both seen what happens when dangerous misinformation drives a wedge between communicators and the American people. That's Karine Jean-Pierre correctly calling out the problem, which is dangerous misinformation between the leadership and the people for which Kareem Jean-Pierre has done, mm. okay? And uh, and that's not because she's a black female lesbian. Um, I would take a truth-telling <laughs> black female lesbian any day. I think people Wait, can where trust are you her. Going with this, but because she's a lying <laughs> exactly. Democrat, no, no nothing Democrat, who purely got her job for the diversity boxes she checked and not for her merit, um, the people lose trust 
with that leadership. The people lose trust in what a black judge like uh, uh, Letitia James, Alvin Bragg can do, or Fonnie Willis. Now, when I address the press from the White House podium, the only thing that stands between me and getting our message out to the American public is whether the people sitting in those chairs and the folks watching at home feel like they can trust me. Do, do you feel like you can trust Corrine Jean Pierre? If you think you can trust her, just wait till you see the next video segment because I will shatter any you trust you had in this woman of telling you the truth. That's all I'm asking. Do these people have credibility? And Maxine Waters, Will this not backfire if you say, look at my skin color and not at what I do? Here's Corrine Jean-Pierre and all the liberals lying to you about the border. The border is closed. The border is secure. The border is secure. Uh, the border is closed. The border is secure. And the border is not open. We have a secure border. I can tell you the, it, the border is secure. By what measure is it secure now, sir? So there, there is not a common definition. The president has done more to secure the border and to deal with this issue of immigration than anybody else. He really has. Uh, we're certainly uh, doing a lot more to secure the border. As you know, the president has. I bet not see a whole bunch of essays and amigos running across the border real quick. Mm -hmm. You have to say that and Right. <laughs> Everything that he can, uh, he's done that alone uh, without the help. The border's of the closed. The border's Why closed. You get you guys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> coming through. Let's just flow at the border. Wow. Now all, all I see is a parade of minorities that were shoved down our throats, so that you're not allowed to question the veracity of what they say, or you'll be called a racist. By the way, to the Hispanics and the Blacks in the audience, Democrats intend to pit you all against each other. They want you to war with each other. In the end. You will not be united against the whites. Instead, you're going to be fighting over resources. And the Democrats are going to have you destroy each other. So I, I take no comfort in any of this. Um, I feel bad for our people when they're lied to by anyone, but especially by these leftists. What y'all think about this? So if the Democrats are going to have the Mexicans uh, or Hispanics, I don't know what's politically correct, whatever. Y'all going to take what I say. Uh, the Mexicans and the, and the black people against each other. There's also white Democrats. Where do they stand? What, what would the white Democrats be doing? Let us know in the comment section down below. Like Kareem Jean Pierre. Yep. Here's how auto mechanics remove car scratches. How they do it? I feel like the information that I am providing is worthy for them and that they can trust, obviously, that information. And building that trust is not just about getting accurate information across the airwaves or onto live streams. It's about rapport. It's about empathy. No, it's not. You have no empathy, you imbecile, and you don't generate embassy, uh, empathy, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's about you checking three boxes is what it's about. And people afraid to call you what you are, which is a fraud who got by purely because you checked three boxes and everyone lowered their standards to allow you to have a job you were not qualified for. That almost Dang, anyone else. Why, you go, why she ain't qualified? Let us know what she, what she do. He went in on her. Yeah, why she not qualified? Better qualified for. And that's what this whole parade of liars are going to be. People who lie to you because the, and they're not qualified to do their jobs. Secretary Mayorkas, do you continue to maintain that the border is secure? Yes, and we are working day in and day out to enhance its security. The removal of Title 42 does not mean the border is open. The border is secure, but we also have a broken immigration system. We have done a lot of work here to fix the system. I think the message um, uh, uh, is, in fact, not to come uh, to the border. I don't think the more than 1.5 million people who have been removed or expelled uh, from the border would consider the border open. Somebody walks into Texas or Arizona unvaccinated, they're allowed to stay? But, Why? But that's not how it works. Like we actually, no. I know that that's not what you guys want to happen, but that is what, what is happening. But that's not, it's not like somebody walks over and <laughs> that's not, that's, that's not how. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Uh, the white guy, Peter Ducey, was telling the truth. They were coming over the border, unvaccinated. They did nothing. They were allowed to just walk right over mm -hmm. while the rest of us were losing our jobs over it. Okay, so uh, this is about Dang. credibility and division. And these people, we caught them. 
guys. They're they're going. They're not. If you reelect them, they're going to jail. Them into office because of their skin color. We deserve to lose because they will uh, do a lot worse than just call Trump a felon. Mm -hmm. And oh, and and free. They're going to free um, uh, an actual felon like Hunter Biden. Let me bring up his little graphic here. Here he mm. is. Hunter Biden found guilty on all three counts in federal gun trial. Now you got if you guys haven't seen that video, we did react to that. So look at our channel. Yeah, let's, let's check out the video. Thinking, hey, there's actually some justice. That's the only reason the Democrats threw him under the bus. And as soon as they think Biden can become president again, or whoever the next Democrat president is, they are going to pardon him. If Biden wins the election, he will pardon Hunter after the election. If Biden loses the election, he will pardon Hunter Biden right before he leaves office. Guys, I know how this stuff works. Here's Corrine Jean Liar. It's about building relationships. So everything that I say at the podium, Liar. and I know many of you may understand what I mean, you have to actually be, try to put yourself in the shoes. I like her trying to be deep. Some of you, maybe you're along with me. Maybe you're able to put yourself in the shoes of another person. Here's Maxine Waters. When they go low, black women are going to law school. Okay, when they, they go low, who's they? White people? When white people go low, black women are going to law school? Or is it what? She might be talking about, just how he talks about Democrats, she might be talking about like Republicans as they, mm -hmm. or she might be a liberal, they say she's a liberal. So what she might be talking about the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Republicans go low, which is where Michelle Obama originally made that statement. When Republicans go low, Black people are going to law school? Wow. All when right. they go low, black men are becoming judges. Oh, when they go low. When white people go low or when conservatives go low or Republicans go low, black people are becoming justices. And then what happens? And then what, Maxine? Spell it out for me. <laughs> when they go low, we're not giving up. We're going to continue. Yeah, you're going to continue. You made Trump a felony, felon? And don't tell me, how about I'm next? Exercise my free speech rights. I'm a felon. What do you guys think? Can you get justice from a liberal if you're of a different race? I'm Doug in exile. Man, so to be honest, I don't. Do, I, I guess we got to do a video because I don't even know what... We've been doing a lot of Democrats versus Republicans. We mm -hmm. haven't done a liberal. the liberals. So yeah. I don't know. So that's why I'm asking y'all. Let me know what y'all think about a liberal. Let me know what's a good video to get educated on mm -hmm. what a liberal is. A right. lot of this is our journey of educating ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. yeah, we're not authorities on this or nothing like that. But we're here to learn. We're here to spread the news. Hey. Uh -huh. Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 60K. Hey. We love you guys. We will we'll see, see you guys, guys in the, the next video. video. Peace. Peace.